I'm Anil Kumar and here is an example on weighted averages. We are considering average speed. Sam ran at an average speed of 20 kilometers per hour for five hours and then walked at the rate of five kilometers per hour. Find the time Sam walked if his average speed was 15 kilometers per hour. Now in this question, we are given, let me make a table so that we can understand what is given to us and what we need to find, right? So it is a distance speed time case. And what we are given here is the speed for walking and for running, right? So we are given average speed which he ran. So let's say we are talking about running. We have the speed. Speed for running is 20. The units are kilometers per hour. Let me write here now. Kilometers per hour. And the time is in hours, five hours. As far as walking is concerned, we are given that the average speed for walking is five in this case. And time, we don't know. So we need to find time for walking, right? But what we know here is the average speed. So we know average speed right so the average speed is 15 kilometers per hour so that is what is known to us in this particular case and we need to find the time now this speed is the weighted speed it is not the average of these two you cannot just add 20 and 5 which will be 25 and divide by 2 right Dividing these two speeds with 2 will give you a wrong result. The reason is that time for walking and for running is not the same, right? We have to still find though. Since the average is 15, it is not 12.5. It clearly indicates that the time for running and walking is not same in this case, right? So that is where the weighted averages come into picture, correct? So let us find the distance which Sam ran. So the distance is speed into time, right? So we will multiply these two to get the distance. So that distance he ran is 20 times 5 and the distance he walked will be 5 times t walking, correct? So that is the total distance which he ran, correct? So average speed is equals to total distance over total time, correct? That is how distance, speed and time are related. Now what is the total time? Total time here is 5 hours of running and we don't know what walking time is. So we'll write this as 5 plus time to walk. Is it okay? But we know what total distance is. Distance is 20 times 5 plus 5 times time to walk. Do you get an idea? So we have a product of these two. So that is what happens in weighted averages. You multiply the quantity with the rate, right? And add them up and divide by the total, which in this case is total time, which is t plus, I mean, five, right, 5 plus time for walking. Average speed is given to us as 15. So we'll write 15 here, right? Now we have to solve this equation to find the time which Sam took to walk. So we'll cross multiply and simplify. So 15 times 5 plus time to walk equals to 20 times 5. Let me write like this only. Then the next step will simplify time to walk. So let's open this bracket. So we get 15 times 5. 5 times 5 is 25. 75 plus 15 times time to walk equals to 5 times 2 is 10. So it is 100 plus 5 times time to walk. So we can bring the variables on one side. 15 time to walk minus 5 times time to walk equals to 
100 minus 75, right? So that gives us 10 times time to walk is equal to 25. And so time to walk is 25 divided by 10, which is 2.5 hours. Do you see that? So time to walk is half of 5 in this case, right? So we found that the time to walk is 2.5 hours. Now let us go back to our example and try to analyze what did we find. So we found this time to be 2.5 hours, kind of half of that time. So you can see, since Sam ran longer, much longer than he walked, his average speed is closer to his running speed. So that is what it is. So that is how the weight, the amount shifts in such cases. It is not just the mean value of the two speeds. I hope you appreciate that. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always subscribe and share my videos. Thank you and all the best.